So man, when the, uh, when the phone rings, do you even ask the name or who it's going to be against or do you just automatically say, you know, when do you need me there? Since God, I got that ring call, so I'm good. <laughs> when, do you bother looking at tape on guys at this point in your career? I mean, you've of seen course. everything. Do you... Of course, of course. Uh, I watch fights with my, with my coaches. My coaches study him, of course. They create a game plan for me, and uh, hopefully <clears throat> uh, what we did last uh, six weeks, I'm going to bring Sarah night. Would there ever be a situation where the UFC called you and said, we want you to fight this guy, and you go, that's not a good matchup for me. I'm not taking that fight. Uh, no, I never pick any opponents, and uh, I'm always like like Nike, just do it. It's up to my coaches. If they like not so confident or it's not enough time, they recommend me usually like you know let's 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 ask to reschedule or like say no. But for you, never. No. <laughs> uh, you mentioned six weeks to get ready. Uh, is that a good thing or, or a bad thing? Like I wonder, like staying busy is good, but... Stay busy for me is great. Not good, it's great. Because I'm disciplined, I'm following my uh, game plan, I mean for the life, uh, because like I, un I understand that I still have like a few years, not two, few, maybe three, four. And I uh, just I need to achieve my goals and just stay busy, be, 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 be disciplined, like do, do everything right. Is it challenging, I guess, physically? I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we're not young guys. Uh, is, is it challenging physically for you at all? Uh, no. I'm, I mean, like I said, like I choose what's more important for me. I'm not, I, for, I forgot when I, when I last time went out like late, you know, and <clears throat> The hardest part, no alcohol, but otherwise I'm okay. What about the time away from family that you have to take? Is that difficult? That's, that's, that's tough, yeah, that's tough, no doubt about it. That's why I decided between workouts uh, in the camp to come home, come home, drive my oldest one to baseball practice, spend some time with little one and uh, get back to rental apartment. Nice. Uh, all right, so Jake Collier, he, he admits he grew up watching you fight. When you hear guys say that, I grew up watching, is it respect or do you go like, I wish they wouldn't say that? I don't care. Listen, I have nothing personal. I told before it's a business, you know, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be against me and Sarah Sarah nine octagon, so I have to do everything possible to beat him. Like I said, it's nothing personal, it's a business. Yeah. It's pretty impressive the run you're on right now. I, I wonder, you know, back in like 2016, 17, 18, you know, people were like Andre, he needs to hang it up, he needs to, he's done. No, it was two thousand nine, ten and eleven. <laughs> And then again in 2000. But I wonder, during those stretches when you had losses, did you ever think about, like, maybe I am done? Maybe I should quit? Deep inside, I knew I'm not done. And uh, uh, it was like 100% what motivated me back in 2009, 10 when I got four losses in a row. It's like I wanted to shut all these fucking mouths to Hussein, like, Arlovsky done, you have to hang up. But at the same time, I have to admit that. <clears throat> I did do some like medical exam, check my head, like my 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 my, my body, because what's the point to be uh, punching back for someone and and if if your body doesn't let you like do what you love to do? So yes, I admit it. When people start saying Arlovsky, you've done this and that, I said okay, if 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 doctor professional gonna say me okay, better to leave it right here. Uh, of course, I'm not I'm not uh, I, I don't want to kill myself, but otherwise. I love it. But now that you're five and one, does that does that make you just want to like middle finger to all those people that said it? Like I showed you guys. Thank you much. <laughs> uh, Co-main event. I mean, at this point in your career, do you care at all where you are in the card? Does it matter? I'm okay when first fight on the night. But yeah, thank you. Thanks UFC. They invite me uh, to trust me to get a co-main event. You said you got a couple years left. What, what, I said three, four. You, three, four. What, when, when do you know to call it? Like, will the, the reason that you decide finally to walk away, will it be because you're tired of fighting or will it be because your, your body can't take it anymore or you just don't want to commit? Like, what will be the reason, you think? Body tight, I can't take it anymore, but thanks God, like, and I want to repeat over and over, I still have fire in my eyes and, like, right now around me, like, I work with the right, right, right coaches. My, my wife let me do what I love to do, so I'm good. I love it. Last thing for me, uh, the goal on Saturday, is it, is it just to win or is the goal to finally not have your coaches yell at you for not doing what you're supposed to be doing? It seems like after every win you say that they're pissed off at you because you didn't do what you were supposed to. Well, 
the episode of less and less, so <coughs> hopefully, of course, I'm going to do 100% game plan, but it's almost impossible. Andre, you mentioned your goals that you still have. You've been around a long time. You have a chance to tie the wins record. You have a chance. You know, the record book's full of your name. What are those goals that you have? Be, Some a, cha of them. be a champion again. To fight the top fighters. And uh, I'm in play of UFC, and I'm going to fight what UFC is going to give me to fight. So Jake, another tough young stud and uh, dangerous heavy hitter. So I have to be alert. I have to stick with my game plan as usual, keep my hands up, and move around. Not many guys have been around as long as you have, and you look at what Overeem's doing now, and you've been other places, and you know, look at what Ben Rothwell just did to go to bare knuckle. Is there anything like that in your future, maybe, or you want to just finish it out with the UFC? Listen, I have a great present. Why I need to think about future? I, I, I'm, okay. I'm super good with the UFC. I'm okay where, where I'm right now, so one step at a time. How much does the wins record mean to you? Uh, for me, of course, it's like, oh, that's, that's nice, but more, more important, I think it's for my striking coach, Paulino Hernandez. All, all, he's all about all these records, you know, like strikes per round, etc., etc., etc. So for me, it's more important to, to beat my opponent. <clears throat> Thank you.